All right, folks, the deck is Reno Dragon Warrior. The goal of the deck is to essentially play Control Warrior in the early game, uh, attempt to stabilize towards our late game, which includes some high value dragons like Raid Boss Onyxia, Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, and even Kazakus Man, who can give us a way to close out the game if we've drawn some of our non-dragon minions. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raw. Watch this! Uh, I don't know if this is a Zeph into Wild Growth matchup. I might need it for clears if it's hand buff. Zognisman, thank you for the year three sub for 22 months. Really appreciate that. Reporting for duty. Uh, it's not going to offer Wild Growth here anyway, so. Bummer. Need better cards than this. Could be useful for a tempo play, depending on what they hit here. The light oh, I was not expecting this. Still a good tempo play. I wouldn't enough for wild growth. It's going to look for things that uh, clear the board. Well, I think you need an empty board on turn two for wild growth most times. Because it'll offer turn three plays, but it'll offer like turn three plays that uh, aim for the board. Yeah, like backstab would have been one. Good in conjunction with the buckler. I don't mind them hitting the Schnoz Dormo. I know Dr. Boom Hero isn't it better than Rogara, uh, sometimes. This big paladin? No, they wouldn't. It's Reno, maybe? Reno. Kara has more media effect, yeah, and like is uh, more pressure a lot of times, which is useful for this deck. Minefield often leaves this alive, which is kind of unacceptable, to be honest, but I don't really see great lines otherwise. I'll take this trade. Watch post isn't really that important. They might be running New Zoth, which is pretty common in Reno lists, so uh, having the Zeph for like extra brawls and twists is probably a good idea. And coin and Alex draws next turn if I have a decent opening to do so. Why is Watch Post just in the deck? Uh, is it I added it to the deck to increase the cost of opponents' draws by one. Just bladestorm that. A very good bladestorm. Um, I wonder if no, they probably got Dragon Queen off of. Uh, uh, Dragon Tamer. So much healing not getting used? I mean, do you really need healing against a uh, a warrior deck, though, that isn't Pirate Warrior? I don't think it's, like, necessarily a bad thing what they've done so far. What were their choices that they picked that? That seems like one of the worst ones. Life and hope of Will Fighting. Be reborn in the heart! Magic is 
That was pretty good. Maybe I should have just spent the coin to get value off of that. Ah, come on! Oh, no. Still has a pretty big boost, right? Shoulder check shoulder checks honestly pretty good, so is the uh sleep with the fishes, so maybe need to start dumping minions before like I get ratted or mutanist. Rush right now. I see. Unstoppable. It actually bounced the Dragon Queen with the uh, Zola, and I just need to remember that the Adric, the E Adric, is still in hand. Hmm. It's gonna be a twist. I think Zephyrus offers that card that inverts attack and health. Uh, Void Ripper? You shouldn't. No. Oh, Alchemist, yeah. Uh, so that's lethal then, right? 16, 18, 20. I'm a little bit short. I'm not even confident that I can get him to offer that though. I don't think Inner Fire is in there. Maybe it is. Well, there goes that game plan. I don't know. I've had weird Zephs already. I don't. Know what was right there. I do know that losing that Zeph is very bad for me. Would have been pretty good into that. Life and hope are worth fighting. Awaken my children. Good draw.
Oh! Oh, that makes up for the Zeth. Whew. Huge, huge hit. For the Alliance and my family. This is not what we stood for. Let your essence congeal with Mulkara. to keep yourselves alive. I think we're in a pretty good spot from here. And plus the opponent is also running Kazaka's man. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. Cards. I see. Seems unlikely that they are though. I'm guaranteed to hit the Viper here. Just a matter of when. Nice. I don't want one of those cards. Guess that'll do it. I need to hope this is Seeker Mage or Ping Mage. Looks like it might be Quest bad for me. They have a lot of minions, so even the Dirty Red isn't very reliable. Okay. That's good for me. Or at least manageable. Hot guy forehead. Thank you for the prime. Your power limitless. Big hero power. Uh, I might just need to go bear off minefield next turn. Good to know they're running a counter spell. Welcome to the Do try to keep yourself alive. Feels bad, but I think it's necessary. Uh, that was the most common outcome, but still pretty lucky for me. Or rather, that was a common outcome. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not terribly relevant against me because I don't often go wide. Um, but even so, I can clear it next turn. Though, kind of need to get a Mutanus at some point just because there are a lot of important Battlecry minions that um, are bad for me. Like this one? No, oh, that's not it. Uh, actually the ramp, like, I need to close this game out quickly, and I don't really have the capacity to do so because their hero power gets pretty nutty with, uh, Varden online. Something big? It's actually very good. Like, a, yeah, it's not a, uh, Mordrash or a Janelai, but, like, that actually does a lot of good for me. Ouch. You can't stop the snowstorm. You here for the tour? Take no prisoners. Run to the core. Hey there, Hooch. Block. An incredible discovery. Their ice block. Can I even take any more damage here? I think it's probably a bad idea to do so. Or at least not until I reno. really have another weapon I want to use right now other than this anyway. So is that six? That's terrifying. I think the only real minion I need to worry about Your power. that's kind of Two ice blocks in hand. Oh god. Oh no, no, no. Wait, that's immune at least. Okay. Burns. 
such a massive hero power. Luckily, so if they have another one in hand and I'm like, concerned about dying, I can pop block into fatigue, and that would be better. I just need to not die here. Uh, this sets up lethal with uh, just a punch into their face, and they take the fatigue damage, and I win. I don't think Zuff does anything in this matchup. I don't think most of my cards do anything in this matchup, unfortunately. Other than those that gain me armor. Greetings, traveler. What can I do for you? Dirty rat. Isn't really an answer. Riffraff, thank you for the 15 months. Unless the opponent is a potato. I think I might just tempo the bulwark. Just to slow down there quest progression? Or do I even want to? Would I rather them just rush down the quest and then not have the mana to play? Havish? Is that is that the play since I have Dirty Rat? There are some decks that you think you do really well with this deck. Um, board based aggro, which doesn't exist outside of Pirate Warrior, but Pirate Warrior quickly turns to infinite damage from hand, so I don't really have much against that. I don't, I'm just going to assume that my opponent is competent and they wouldn't ever let me get Tavish with the rat anyway. So. skill command and make it so that they can't remove minions from board or play spells on minions. Those are sort of a hefty spell that it just ate. I don't think I want to play the Rokara immediately. We're still in a place where they might just do something dumb with the uh Havish. Um this allows me to go here, here, on the Tavish turn. Actually, I can go here, 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 if, uh, if they leave Tavish in hand this turn. Oh god, are they doing it? This shouldn't have been a win condition. Played, yeah, something like that. Yeah, if only that card refreshed their hero power, it'd be pretty good here. I'm 
move the ride from here. I mean, they still do a lot of damage, but like I can, I can out armor a lot of their damage at least. This is not what we stood for. And maybe just out pressure them from here. Do they run Beardo now? Uh, it's uncommon, but like this opponent's already running quite a few uncommon cards, so they're just. I mean, that's fine. could be a minion, so this is like the one time this might get value. Is in Dwarven Sharpshooter pretty redundant though, they generated that, so yeah, they're not running it in main deck. Uh, Rena doesn't win this matchup. Strong early game, including board clears, does. You keep Snake? Uh, no. I would, like, it gets one charge of the Ankar. Like, it's not a relevant card in this matchup. I think that's worth a keep when it could be find me board clears. And if I'm really z desperate, I have Zeph for Ooze anyway, so it's just like... up for a holy smite. Your wish is my suggestion. Maybe if they attack, we can get some viper value, but I still don't think it's worth holding on to in that scenario when it's not my immediate concern. Like, the Ankar isn't my immediate concern. It's honestly pretty unlikely they even play it this turn. Kind of at six. I'm just very good at the game. Like, if they weren't going to clear the Zeph there, why not just hold the. Uh, the. Ultist for the. Inkar. Oh, that's why. Really glad I didn't hang on to this now. Why do you play Emperor? Uh, because I wanted to include him to reduce the cost. Wait, where'd the game go? To reduce the cost of the cards in my hand by one? What? Where did my health go? I don't remember.
remember being this low, but apparently I was. I took four from hands. What are you doing? I just wanted the Holy Smite for the stupid cannon. Uh, maybe I should have held that for a turn. So that I could just play it next turn alongside the Rancor. Why not just play the Zep first, though? Because I was going for Holy Smite. And I needed to equip the... What? <laughs> ah! Chat here! <laughs> what are you talking about? What would four mana get me that would deal with that? That would make the play worse, is why I didn't do it. Set sail! The juggernaut is under my command! No force on Azeroth can stop me! Unstoppable! Yeah, that not holding the bear off was a punt. At least I got a weapon that can attack. Oh my god. These are not the juggernauts I've been getting. Why not attack from the opponent? Because they cannot attack heroes because of the words on the card that they were given. Ninety-six, thank you for the one dollar tip. Wait, what? Not like this. Trust the pipe. Okay. Wait, they're gonna die, didn't now? Why would they attack into a, an Alex Straza like that? I must You're dead on board. I mean, we had the lethal because of the hero power anyway. Could be on mobile and misclicked. 
like 16 times during the, <laughs> the course of that game. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, Gigantic Donuts, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Horback, Nate Drex, Osiris, Saint Arthur, Jado Yama, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, Vamp Lord Gaming, and Vanfix. 